guys welcome back down to my basement i'm going to be doing another haul for you guys down here um this haul is going to be uh, some of the stuff that eric and i won at an auction and then the rest is just going to be some other random stuff that we um, have gotten listed but also came from other auctions and stuff like that um so this last auction that we had gone to where i recorded there was a lot of winnie the pooh items so there are going to be a lot of Winnie the Pooh items in this haul. Um, so yeah, there are some big ticket Winnie the Pooh items out there and I did manage to win some of them. So um, let's just get started with some of the auction winnings from that auction. Uh, the first thing though that I have to show is actually a Longa Burger piece. Um, Eric decided to bid on this. Uh, we didn't look it up beforehand and he just randomly looked it up. So I will get it out and show you what it looks like. Um, it's called the Miniature Umbrella Stand. So everything is still in its original boxes here. It comes with, it comes with all of its paperwork and everything like that. And this is what the piece looks like. So the miniature Longenberger items can definitely sell on the higher side. It's marked um, JW Collection Miniature Umbrella Basket. So that's what it looks like. It comes with all the pieces and um, the paperwork. We won this set for a bid of $13 and I listed it as a buy it now for $119.99. So there's definitely money to be made in the Longenberger miniatures. Um, I don't typically pick up Longenberger items like super often uh, but there are some pieces that I do know about that do sell well. Eric won that. Okay one more item before we get into the Winnie the Pooh stuff. This was a brand new still sealed um, ship model by um, Lindbergh called the Classic Replica Series. It is the War of Independence Schooner is what it's called. Still sealed. Uh, we won this at a bid of $16, and I listed it as a buy it now for $69.99. So, obviously, sealed models can also sell really well. Okay, so for our first Winnie the Pooh items, we have these two cookie molds that look like this. And these are by um, Brown Bag Cookie Art. And some of these cookie molds by this Brown Bag uh, Cookie Art can sell well. So I listed these together as a lot. This first one is kind of like a break apart cookie with four different, um, you know, scenes on there. And you can see here on the back, it says Brown Bag Art. So these are like um, heavy duty, like stoneware. And then this one is of Tigger. And this does have its tag still on it. So it makes really cute um, large cookies. Uh, we won these for a bid of $2. And I'm not sure if that was $2 a piece. I feel like it was $2 a piece. So probably $4 altogether. And I listed them as a buy it now for $49.99. Um, again, like I said, these molds can definitely sell uh, really well. This next item is actually a desk organizing piece featuring Owl and it says O is for Owl who loves to talk and this is really heavy um, and you can put your pens, pencils, or markers in there so it is like a, a desktop organization piece. We won this for a bid of $8 and I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. Next, I have this Winnie the Pooh Christmas stocking. This is absolutely gorgeous. It still has its tag attached, and it has Winnie the Pooh and Piglet on it, and the back is like a green uh, velour. And this was selling really well. I won this at a bit of $4, and we listed it as a buy it now for $45.99. Buy it now. Next, we won this Boyd's item. This is a plush ornament set so still in its original box and this has a couple different plush ornaments in they're still attached in there but we got Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet in there and they are just like plush ornaments like I said they're still attached in there so I can't really um, 
take them out to show you. But we won this at a bid of $8 and I put it up as a buy it now for $55.99 buy it now. Okay, this next one was a good one. I did take it all out of the box so you can see better, but this is a cloth teak poo piece. And you can see on um, the original tag how much it was originally. It was $125. Um, so this is called the Winnie the Pooh and Friends Caroling set. It comes with four uh, pieces and I will show them to you because like I said took them out so the four pieces that are in there first we have piglet here on the tree and <laughs> dressed like an angel super cute and these are new still have the tags there so that was in the box um, we got Tigger here and they all have their caroling books and tags obviously then there is Eeyore, which looks like this. And then the last one that was in that box is obviously Winnie the Pooh. So we won that at a bid of $45, and I listed that as a buy it now for $299.99. I'm pretty sure as of now, there's only one other one listed and theirs is listed way higher than that. Um, so, but it was selling really well. So some of these items, since they are obviously Christmas themed, people buy Christmas all year long. So there's a chance it'll sell before Christmas, but you know, obviously the chance of it selling uh, higher, closer to Christmas is there. Uh, next we have another poo item. This here is the 100 acre wood pin set. Brand new, still sealed. So we have all these different poo enamel pins on there and it's all on like this nice um, backing of the 100 acre wood. So this here we won for a bid of $5 and I listed this for a buy it now of $99.99. Again, another one listed, they have theirs listed for like $200. So um, I went with that. I do think it's a, a harder to find piece that's still, you know, obviously sealed. So a lot of these items are brand new. Here we have a Winnie the Pooh clock. This is pretty large and this is a neon wall clock. So there's like a tubing in there that lights up neon orange uh, when it's lit. But again, this was brand new, still sealed, paid $5 for this. And I listed this as a buy it now for $45.99. This next item is a Department 56 um, Snow Babies, but again, Winnie the Pooh, and I'll show you what that looks like. This one is of Tigger holding a snow baby, so that is brand new still, obviously, with the tag. Uh, we paid $20 for this piece, and I listed it as a buy it now for $64.99. Okay, so this next item was actually really surprising to me. Um, I research absolutely everything before I come up with a price of what I'm willing to spend on something um, at the auction. Um, and when I was uh, researching all of this Winnie the Pooh stuff, I came across these that were selling really well. Uh, this is a pack of Disney cutlery. So these are just plastic cutlery pieces. There's fork, spoons, and what they call spreaders, which, you know, is like a knife. And then they feature on the handle, um, Tigger Poo and Piglet. So it's a brand new pack. Um, the box is a little bent up, but people must still be looking for these, especially, um, you know, people who are having birthday parties for their kids and it's like Winnie the Pooh themed and they want stuff like this. Anyway, paid $3 for this box and I listed it as a buy it now for $25.99. Um, these were selling uh, pretty consistently for $29.99, but I listed mine a little bit cheaper than that. Uh, so definitely an interesting one. Um, let's see, along with that, I got these Mealtime Fun Winnie the Pooh um, children's like fork and spoon sets. These aren't really worth anything, but they came with the cutlery on the same tray. Um, so I listed these separately for a buy it now of $9.99. So each one $9.99. All right, next item also was in a box. This is a Lennox piece. I'm just showing you the box right here. Um, um, it is a Winnie the Pooh item, obviously. I'm going to show you one by one. <laughs> 
just because I want to be super careful with these because they are ceramic. These are candlesticks by Lennox. Obviously Winnie the Pooh. This one has Tigger and Eeyore underneath of a tree with their picnic basket. And it's called Pooh's Picnic Candlesticks. They came out in 2004. So it is a pair of them. And then the other one looks like this. So this one has Pooh, Picklet, and Owl in the tree. So very beautiful pieces. Um, those we won at a bid of $25, which was surprising to me. And I listed those as a buy it now for $129.99. Again, another good uh, Winnie the Pooh item to look for. Um, next item was a Department 56 piece as well. This was called Christmas with Pooh. And I will show you that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It does light up. It is a light light up scene, very heavy. Um, just all of the figures surrounded, like surrounding a Christmas tree and then Owl is at the top. Um, so very, very cute piece there. Paid $20 for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $199.99. This was also selling really well. All right, so that concludes the Winnie the Pooh items. The rest of the stuff is just going to be um, other items that I won recently at auctions and what I listed. So this next piece is a hard plastic um, Santa Claus on a reindeer. So when I was researching him, it seemed like it's harder to find him with his fur still attached and his bell. And this one is in great condition, no breaks. Or cracks or anything like that so really nice vintage Christmas piece um, won this for a bid of $22 and I listed him as a buy it now for $59 and 99 cents um, I'm definitely gonna be displaying some of my vintage Christmas items this year if they don't sell by Christmas they're just too cute I can't not uh, this next item is really awesome. I had never come across any of these before, um, but I did win this at an auction. This is a vintage Lucite purse. It's made of Lucite. It is got two handles here, and the top you can see is like see-through. And then when you open it, it just looks like that. Really cool, really unique. Um, absolutely love this. And these older Lucite purses, are selling really really high uh, I did pay I think I paid about $60 for this at the auction um, and I put it up as a buy it now for $99.99 so they are selling really high and like I said I never came across one before so I wanted to just take a chance with that one and see what happens this next item is a perfume um, this is a lush perfume um, you guys, when you watch my uh, videos where I'm recording in my room and those shelves behind me, a lot of people don't know what is behind me. I think some people think it's nail polish. It's actually bottles of perfume. Lush is like one of my favorite brands. Um, I am subscribed to, they have a subscription box. And I recently got this um, perfume. It's called Tramp and it's just in like a little uh, spray bottle. Um, unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of this scent, so I decided to sell it, but I did, like I said, I got it out of a subscription box that I subscribe to. Um, I listed this up as a buy it now for $29.99. This next item was really cool as well. This is from 1966, and it's by Tupperware. They are called Tupperware Toys Zoo It Yourself. So it comes with all these different plastic animal pieces and then you can make different animals or like mix and match um, to make other, you know, random little different animals. This is brand new, still sealed. I mean, how cool is that? Um, it being from 1966 and still sealed in its bag. Um, I paid $7 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $69.99. Someone has another set that isn't in the bag listed for even higher than that and they've sold theirs so I'm hoping mine mine goes eventually. Now uh, this next item is a teapot and teapot set so this is by Lefton 
absolutely gorgeous teapot. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love, 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 love it. It's like a really pretty mint green color. So I got the teapot as well as, let me get the other two pieces here. I got the um, sugar bowl as well as the creamer. So I listed this as the, the whole set because I figured, you know, whoever has the teapot is going to want to use the matching sugar and creamer for it. Uh, so I won that whole set for a bid of $20 and I listed it as a buy it now for $139.99. So people have the teapots listed very high. Um, the sugar and creamer don't sell for as much, but I kind of just combined those two prices together um, and came up with that. I know it has a couple watchers, so hopefully it sells eventually. This was a, a weird... <laughs> A weird find there was a tray at the auction it just had some random little bits and bobs on little toys and stuff like that um, I won the tray for a bid of $23 the main thing I wanted on the tray was this little pack of um, accessories these are actually vintage um, he-man masters of the universe accessories so these would have went to the he-man figurine uh, so it's got his shield in there as well as a sword an axe and it's still brand new still sealed I thought that was so awesome to find something like that um I don't know if other people realized what this was or who it went with or anything like that but I thought it was really cool that it was still um sealed in its original packaging so anyway like I said we paid $23 for the tray I listed this on auction with a starting price of $69.99 so far no bids um if it doesn't get a bid I'll probably just relist it at that price but um, you know, definitely really cool that it's still sealed. We won this Polaroid instant camera. <laughs> no lie, I kind of want to keep this and just use it myself because I don't have an instant camera like this. But it's a green Polaroid instant camera. It comes with um, the bag. There's a brand new pack of film in here and everything. Like it's just chock full of everything. And this is an older one. Uh, I don't know if it has a date, but um, I think the film expired like way early 2000s so we got this at the auction paid $11 for it and I put that up as a buy it now for $39.99 this is a really great advertising piece we did pay up for this um, advertising pieces tend to sell really high at the auction this is for frosty root beer and it is a thermometer it is a tin thermometer really awesome graphic on there um, super duper fun here, I'll show you the back of it as well. So uh, this here, we did pay um, $200 for, <laughs> pay $200 for this thermometer. Um, and I listed it as a buy it now for $379.99. It is selling um, in the $300 range currently. So um, yeah, that was, you know, we paid up for it, but it is worth money. Okay, I got another vintage Christmas item. This is a really sweet Napco Spaghetti Trim Christmas Angel Planter. It's in really nice condition. Looks like this, and that's what the bottom looks like. The sticker's no longer on there, but she is Napco. And we won her for a price of $22, and I listed her as a buy it now for $49.99. Next item is a really cool piece as well. This is an older frosted pink glass um, vanity jar, like vanity powder jar. You could put your um, powder or anything, like hair pieces, that kind of thing. And it has a really cute elephant on the lid. So just a really cute piece. This here we won for a bid of $7, and I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. I got this Santa mug. This is also by Napco. So an older ceramic winking Santa Claus mug. And that does still have a sticker on the bottom. Uh, we won this with another mug, which I'll be showing you as well, for a bit of $11. I put him up as a buy it now for $49.99. I have been listing some of my vintage Christmas items um, on the higher side. I mean, I'm still going off of solds and stuff like that. But... You know, they're really wonderful pieces in my mind, like, and I just, I love them. And so 
<laughs> it wouldn't hurt my feelings if they don't sell so that I can, um, you know, display them at Christmas myself. Uh, so this next one it came with the Santa Claus mug. This one is plastic, a little like Frosty the Snowman, and he's got like a candy cane um, for the handle. There's someone's initials there on the bottom. This is by a company called, I think it was P&F, P&F Mold. Um, I listed this for a buy it now of $19.99. Okay, I got a bunch of vintage miniature perfumes. I won this large tray of them at the auction. I paid $50 for them, but I feel like I can make that back just off of a few, and I still have a ton more to list. This is only like a small handful. So this first one is a men's Karl Lagerfeld um, cologne, and like I said, these are miniature bottles, and people collect the miniature bottles. I've sold... Um, like a full-sized one of these already before. I listed this as a buy it now for $25.99. I'll try to go through some of these perfumes quick. Uh, this also is a Christian Dior Fahrenheit Mini. This is a men's cologne as well. I uh, listed this as a buy it now for $25.99. This next one is again another men's cologne. This is called Aramis. Devon Country Cologne. This one I have listed as a buy it now for $16.99. Nino Ceruti is what this is called, miniature. Um, listed this one as a buy it now for $39.99. That one was definitely selling higher. Um, we got a men's brute miniature. This one I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. And then the last miniature perfume I have currently is the C.S. La Vie. This is by Christian LaCroix. And this one I have listed for a buy it now of $23.99. This next item is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I love these. So this is a salt and pepper shaker set. And these are knotters. Do you see how they like move? Oh my gosh, how, how cute is that? So, and then in the middle, there's like a little lid and a little tiny spoon. And you can put like a condiment or something in there. I mean, you could use it for like sugar or, you know, a condiment of some sort. And then you uh, put the salt and pepper in underneath there. And then they sit and they, they peck. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. Um, there is. A marking on the bottom that just says hand painted in Japan and we won these at a bid of nine dollars I put them up on auction with a starting price of forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so we'll see to keep with the chickens I also have this um, hen on a nest this is a blue and white uh, there is some swirls in there like slag and really cute so it looks like they're on the bottom um, I listed this, oh, well, I paid $7 for this, and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Um, this was actually on the tray where the Masters of the Universe uh, accessories were on. This really cute little Halloween pin. This is by Easter Unlimited. It's of a, it's of a bear on a pumpkin with a skeleton. I listed him as a buy it now for $5.99. I got these recently at an estate sale. Brand new pack of vintage uh, Lisa Frank Halloween erasers. Super fun there. So still in the original packaging. I paid, I would say I paid about $1 to $2 for these and I listed them as a buy it now for $29.99. I got this set of like alabaster grapes these are glass very heavy and they have like a leaf and like like coiled design there really pretty piece oh my gosh i love these these would look so cute like displayed in a kitchen or something like that beautiful coloring i paid six dollars for these at the auction and i put these up on auction for a starting price of 29 dollars and 99 cents i got this coach purse I don't even have it like 
shut or anything. <laughs> this really beautiful brown leather coach bag. Absolutely gorgeous. Goes with everything. Um, the little coach key fob is still there. Um, this is a legacy bag. Really nice condition. The interior has like this pretty striped design. This bag was selling really well. Um, I paid $7.50 for it at the auction. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $79.99. So it's definitely selling for around that price. I got this doll here at an auction. I'm pretty sure she's from 19... Do we got a date on you? 1960. This is a Whimsies doll. Any of you guys recognize this doll? I didn't know who she was, but I fell in love with her. I mean, look at that face. Absolutely beautiful. Um, she is wearing her original clothes and her bloomers, and she even has her original little sandal shoes on. Super duper cute. I uh, won her for a bid of $20, and I listed her as a buy it now for $89.99. Last thing that I have for this haul is this really cool looking vase. It's pretty heavy. It's got this design on it of a dragon. Very cool looking. And it does have a sticker on it. It says it's by a brand called Norleans. Um, handmade in Italy. So really nicely made vase there. Um, put this up as a buy it now for $19.99. And that came from an auction. I don't have the price that I paid, so it might have come. I think it might have actually come with the grapes. So that is everything for this random haul video um, of stuff that we recently won at some auctions and then some other random stuff as well. I hope you guys enjoy the video. You'll have to let me know uh, what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.